Hello, hello, it's just about a quarter past eight and things are trying their hardest to brighten up. I do have cloud cover in place over western Massachusetts, but here you see the view from Cheshire. Got a nice little smattering of sunrise colors here right on the horizon. As the day goes on, more and more of these clouds will thin and we will wind up with some halfway decently sunny conditions by the time it's all said and done. Here's a look at temperatures across the region. 24 in Steventown, 26 in North Adams, 27 in Hoosick, 23 in East Greenbush, 26 in Albany, and Voorheesville coming in at a cool 24. Let's go up towards the north. Johnstown's at 21, Manchester at 25, 22 at Granville, 24 at Scroon Lake, and 21 at Inlet. It's along the line of Herkimer and Hamilton counties. Here's what we've got going on on the radar and satellite. We're kind of caught in between, all right? So we got the high pressure back over this way. We got the low pressure over here. High pressure leads to crystal clear conditions. Not a cloud in the sky over Kentucky or West Virginia or Ohio. Meanwhile, this storm system uh, tracking off the coast was able to bring some precipitation to our friends along the coast. So New York City, Long Island, Connecticut, maybe they all saw a little bit of rain snow mix. I want to go ahead and show you a slightly more zoomed in version of the radar and you can see there were a few blips, maybe a few passing flurries far south and east of Albany today, but it didn't really amount to too much. It's not like you're waking up to snow on the ground. The big impact from that system off the coast is going to be the fact that we're socked in by cloud cover. Again, close enough for the clouds, not enough for any rain or snow. Temperatures will warm rather steadily. The second we get a little bit of sunshine, expect to see the numbers jump. 33 at 11, 35 at noon and 38 at 2 p.m. That'll be our overall afternoon high. The night temperatures do get cool, but if you think about it, it's way above average. A typical normal low temperature this time of year is around 17 in Albany. We're only going down to 28. And yes, some spots outside of the city will be a little bit cooler, but nobody's truly frigid. It continues to be a very mild forecast for this next week of 2023. Your full Storm Tracker 7 day forecast shows Tuesday afternoons not bad either, kind of like what we have today. Wednesday, more consistent clouds with a few flurries around. Big system, second half of Thursday uh, begins as rain or snow, depending on temperature. Friday is all rain though. Look, we get up to 47. It wraps up on Saturday, so maybe ending with another burst of rain and or snow. We'll keep an eye on it. Looks to be a rather complex forecast.